I got a gang queen coming, y'all, and she pretty as hell. Whoa! My name is Taj Williams. I mask with the Wild Mac Noise, and I'm the second queen. So how has it been being the second queen, and how has Mardi Gras Day been? So far, it's a little bit cold, but, you know, I'm just trying to shake the weather. Um, It's been great. The spirit out here is amazing. The people are really enjoy it, and that's really what... That's really why I do this for the people because they enjoy it and I enjoy seeing their faces when they see us. Last time I masked, I was a flag girl. So that's actually a really big step up from going from being a flag girl to being a second queen. That's a huge step. Today has been fun from when we woke up and had breakfast together to when we got dressed to when we made our way to here on Second and Drides. We chilled in a um, bar, bar room for a little while, and then we came out to do Indian Red. I think that was my favorite part so far, though, doing Indian Red. I need y'all to sing a little louder, y'all, because I'm feeling good. Indian Red! Red! And having people gather around and all eyes on me and stuff. I, I like the attention. I got the big queen. Oh yeah. Second queen. I got the second queen. You you work all year long to create this suit and you put in so much hard work that you don't even want to be nervous. You want everybody to see this suit because it took you so long to make it. So it's like I'm a I'm going to show this off. Another thing people don't really know is that like this suit weighs about like maybe 70 pounds like it's very very heavy like very heavy and you, we have to carry it all, if we're going downtown we have to carry it all the way downtown on Super Sunday we have to carry it however far we travel and then when you put the crown on it adds more weight and the wind is hitting it so you're flying everywhere but it's definitely worth it seeing how people react to your suit it's definitely worth it. My mother made this whole vest like by herself, the sequins on it, everything. Um, it says Queen Taj. And then on my actual dress, I made sure I had all women. I wanted all queens on my dress, especially since I was the second, I knew I was gonna be the second queen. I made sure that I had all queens on my dress. And today I'm her. This is my favorite queen right here. Who is she? Um, that's me. That's, I would like to think that's me, but um, no, it's not me, but I'm, that's who I am today. So is that somebody that you imagined or is that an ancestor or someone in your family? That's somebody I imagined just because of how like flawless she is. She's, she is flawless and she's, I don't know, she's just beautiful. Like, and that's how I want people to think, that's what I want people to think when they look at me. So that's why I made sure that I had her on my suit and I made sure I had her on the front instead of the back. Cool. And then uh, you said your mother made this suit? Yes. So With the help of my aunts. Okay. How long did it take you? Um, we started sewing um, the day after Mardi Gras last year. And yeah, so it takes about a year to make the suit. When were you putting the finishing touches on it? Um, to be honest, the suit... It could all, it's never done. You, you always have stuff that you could do to make it better, to, to um, change it up for the next time people see you. So um, the last time I put the actual finishing touches on it was maybe Friday. Yeah, that was when I completely stopped touching it. And so what did it feel like, because I saw that circle, mm -hmm. what did it feel like to be a part of that and to have people looking at you being the queen this year? Um, it made me feel like that I'm a part of something great and that I'm doing something positive for the community. You know, um, I don't, I, I can't describe it, it's just, it's an amazing feeling to be a part of something like this and to be a part of a, a gang like that, you know? And so, this is my last question, so, oh, no, that's what do you hope to be doing this time next year? Are you going to be second queen again? You're gonna... Hopefully I'm masking again and hopefully I'm the second queen and, you know, 
Maybe one day I could be the big queen of uh, Wild Magnolias. Not trying to move Ms. Rita out, but hopefully I could fill her shoes one day if, you know, if she lets me. <laughs> well, today we're honoring um, Big Chief Bo Dallas. Uh, he passed away, and that was the husband of Miss Rita, and he was the father of uh, Little Bo. And we're just honoring him today because this is this was his this was his season. Mardi Gras season is he loved it, and so we just want to keep his name alive and make sure that you know people don't forget he started this, and we just want to carry that on and make sure we're making him proud with not only our suits but the way we carry ourselves and what we say and how we act and make sure we act like Indians should.